and only through him you will get eternal life. You will say, what would you say to that? I don't have much knowledge on all religions to be able to argue, but I mean, I don't, obviously it's like theological, but I don't believe Jesus died himself. You know, it's like yeah. what the distinction between your faith and mine. So I just believe like Jesus was saved by God because I don't believe Jesus is God. Yeah. But I'd like to hear more about it. So, and that's why, unfortunately, I have to attack, in your case, Islam, you know, um, not to be hateful, but because if I just stated the gospel that Jesus died for you, you will say, thank you very much, that's your belief. And so what I, what I have to do is I have to address the negative points about Islam for you to show you um, that, in my opinion, it's not a religion from God. You may look at these sources and think, actually, it is, a, I agree with this. So you may start to think, ooh. So if you want, I can go through some points. Yeah, if you want, yeah. You know? So are you married or brother and sister or friends? No, we're friends. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> So, do you, are you Sunni or Shia? I'm Sunni. Sunni. Yeah. So, do you, um, so they approached me, they asked me some questions. I'll just be five, ten minutes. Yeah. So, would you, would you prescribe to the Sunnah? The yes, hadith? I would. Okay. So, I've got a list in here. We depend on the hadith and the okay. validity of the hadith. Okay. Because, like, some are far-fetched, kind of. Some are sahih. So, that means that okay. the line between the, the, the person who heard the Prophet say it, it's close, I mean, like he was closer to the person, you know what, no, it's like, no, okay, whatever. No, I understand, I so, um, sorry. Um, so some you accept, some you don't. It, yeah, it, yeah. it really depends. There are many schools of thought when it comes to hadith. There are, yeah. even, there are even people who outright reject all hadith. Okay? Yeah, Quran is so and, and, um, and the reason we do this is because the hadith is not the word of God. Yeah. Right? So, we, so we, I personally, um, the, the word in the Quran, uh, is the ultimate word. Yeah. Okay? If there is anything in hadith that contradicts what the Quran says, I don't accept it. Yeah. Um, yeah. And oh, yeah. hadith is written by people, mm -hmm. and it's written by people. I believe the compilation of the hadith only began some two, three hundred years after the death yeah. of the Prophet. I mean, some. So all the more, we, we take it mm -hmm. with a pinch of salt. I mean, some people would even argue that the hadiths are made up. Sure, you know, sure. but however, the the truth is, most Muslims they would believe in them. So the Quranists only, they would be a minority of people. But but, but, but even can... then, but even then, it doesn't represent the faith. The only thing that represents the faith is the Quran. Yeah, that's it. But the Quran is degree, not what enough. Came the Quran is not enough. The Sunnah is, is uh, to be taken into account. But when it comes to the hadith, hadith th themselves, we have to pay attention to the um, the reliability of them and the reliability mm -hmm. is based on the chain of like um, narration yeah the narration okay so what what do you think what do you know about um what the hadith and the quran say about women so what as a must yeah I, i'm happy to speak to you after if that's okay because i've spoken to this man they approached me after you can have a conversation with my husband so please kindly otherwise we'll move quieter yeah, yeah, no, no, so, sure. So what do you know about what Islam teaches about women? So as a Muslim woman, yeah. I know that a lot of people, a, lo a lot of people think that Islam um, refrains women from doing whatever. I mean, a lot of different uh, things. But I do think that Islam set a legal like um, protection for women back in the time, like in the Arab Peninsula before, there was not protection for them. Uh, so I think that, I, I'd like to hear your point first, because I can't all speak of whatever. Yeah. But so for example, I noticed that you um, don't wear a hijab. Yeah. OK. So um, for example, um, <laughs> let me see in here one second. Um, I want to show you something in a minute, okay, about the hijab specifically. Okay, so would you accept um, Sunan al Nasa, Sahih? Okay, so for example, do you know that you don't wear a hijab? According to Muhammad, right, you would be considered, even me, on the same level as a sex slave. I will read it to you. I will show it to you. I will show it to you. So, so. The Prophet stayed between Kabir and Al Madinah for three days when he consummated his marriage to Safiya bin Hatu. Yeah. So, if you want to skip this, it's just. It's, oh, okay. So, then, the, that's the context, but it's not, if you, you, know, you can read it yourself if it's meaningful. The Muslim said, We should be one of the mothers of believers. 
or a female sex slave who is right and possesses. They said if he has a hijab for her, that she will be one of the mothers of the believers. And if she does not have a hijab, then she will be a female slave who is right and possesses. Okay, so when he rode on, he set aside a plate for her behind him and extended the hijab between her and the people. And the people. So uh, essentially, you know, we would be considered, according to the Prophet Muhammad, as a sex slave. And this is why women have to, it's not the only reason. What would you say to that? I'd say that we have to take into account the word of the Quran. What do you say to you? Afterwards, you can have a debate with him. She's a woman. You can, I'm speaking to you. Focus. Yeah, focus. Guys, focus on me because they will try. Uh, Let me respond to this. Yeah. So I believe what this is doing is it's contextualizing what was going on in that period in the 600s. Okay? So in order to understand this, we need to understand the status of uh, women's hair in general in the past. Okay. So in the past. Uh, not just during the Prophet Muhammad's time, but I believe 2,000 years ago, 3,000 years ago, uh, a, head, a head veil, which the Quran calls khimar, not hijab, khimar, the head veil, it was a cultural, it was a cultural thing, okay? This was a cultural custom of people pre-Islamic times, okay? There's something very specific about this. Only in empires, in, in Persia, in Greece, I believe, and in the peninsular Arabia, only certain people were allowed to wear the, hij uh, the khimar, okay? And the khimar is, I believe, not what you see today. It's not a strict, uh, strict tightening covering everything, okay? It's a, it's a loose veil. It's a loose veil and your chest would be exposed, okay? Only certain people were allowed to wear the khimar, okay? And we call this the, um, uh, the, the free people, okay? If you were not a free person, if you were a slave or, 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 a, sex, uh, or a prostitute or a sex slave, and you were caught wearing the khimar, Okay, Jamie. you could even get executed. Okay? This was this is the cultural context. Yeah. This is the cultural context. Okay. <laughs> not, wait, wait, wait. So sorry, not yeah, then. Nothing to do with Islam. Mm -hmm. So this was the this was how the society functioned at that time. Okay. So I it's interesting yes. you say that about ancient times. So actually, yeah. so for example, uh, you know the other cover in the burqa. You know you mentioned ancient times. In ancient times in the Bible, the prostitutes were a burqa. I can show you Genesis 38, you can get it up. The, the, so, so it's interesting. So in the Bible, uh, you know, it was prostitutes. And in Islam, it's actually the reason why women wear a full covering is because Muhammad's friend, he got turned on by a woman going to the toilet. So, ah, okay, so this is very good. Yeah. But that's, not, that's not correct. So as I explained to you, yeah. in the ancient times, in ancient Mesopotamia, in Greece, in Persia, mm -hmm. uh, these were the rules of the empire, okay? not of Islam, of the whichever empire was dominating. Not in Christianity, sir. So. Not in Christianity. We're talking about Christianity. Yeah. We're talking about Persia, Greece, Peninsula, Arabia. These people were pastoral nomads. They were polytheists, uh, whatnot. Okay? Verse 15. Um, sorry. Give us, yeah. give us some time. Yeah, yeah. These, no, were the rules, him, so these were the rules of the empire. And this mm -hmm. is well documented. You can re read up about this. Yeah. If you were a free woman, if you were of upper class, you, mm -hmm. you can cover your hair as a status symbol. Mm -hmm. Just as okay, today. I I can believe right. that. So right. the slaves, so, I'm to this. so the, slaves so this, were not allowed to wear. So so okay. it, so in effect, she or myself, yeah. we are as a slave. We we are. Although you say no, that is to do with I'm, I'm ancient to time. So I'm getting to this. I'm getting to this. So. When the Quran comes, when the Prophet Muhammad uh, comes and he has a revelation of the Quran, um, there is a problem. Okay? There is a there's a social problem in the society. Yeah. So the people go to the Muhammad and we tell him, hey, we have this problem. Our women, our slave women, non not free women who don't cover their hair, but wear the khimar. There is no, there is no. Um, okay, it's to separate them. It's to separate them from the. I mean, the fact is, uh, is even the. You know, I don't have a problem with women wearing a covering. I think it's modest. But the problem is that, you know, if you want to separate slave women to, let's say, normal women, it, they shouldn't even be slave women in the That's first the place. Thing. That's yeah. the thing. It's, but you. That's the thing. The empires separated them. Mm -hmm. Islam got rid of this separation. Yeah. So, but no, he didn't no, because in here he is did, saying, he in here so is saying in this, that when the, you talk about the toilets, you're misunderstanding the context. Mm -hmm. So, when that happened, the people said, mm -hmm. Our women, when they go out to the toilets, there are these perverts on the street. Now, mm -hmm. these perverts on the street, they never attack the people with hijab. Why? Mm -hmm. Because they get in trouble, mm -hmm. because they were of a high class, the people wearing the khimar. 
So these perverts, so these perverts, these come perverts, here, stand here. These perverts, they attack the slave women who go out to the toilets because they are they are uncovered, which means they are slaves. They can get away yeah. with attacking them. Can you show me what that is? So the Prophet Muhammad says, okay. Can you show me what hadith that is? He's with me. Let so all the women cover their hair. Can you show me what hadith that is? Just a it's historical context. You're just mouthing. Just a second. So but what, what, what no. historical context? Sahih Muslim, Sahih Bukhari. We had Al-Hadiyan. Sorry. Sorry. Let me speak to Which one? The Quran, the, the, the people bring this issue to the Prophet Muhammad and they say, let the slave women, um, let opinion. them cover their, uh, cover their hairs so that they cannot be distinguished. That's just your opinion. So that they cannot no, be distinguished. No, it doesn't say that. It doesn't say that. You're lying. In the Quran it says this. You're lying. Exact words, so that they may not be distinguished from the female. Show me that Quran passage. Uh, I can find it. Yeah. Well, let's, let's not just talk from our mouths here. Let's produce. Right? We've got stuff here. So the the thing is, sir, you know, the, the thing is, in my response to that, in Islam, you can have sex slaves. You know, although obviously uh, you, you can have it. In here, the, it happens secretly because it's illegal. Um, back it up, back up. Do you yeah, want me to? How, how old are you? Because I don't want to. Just show evidence. Okay. Just show it up. Four verse 24. Okay. I can let you get the Quran. Have you got a Quran or a white word? No. So, so in here it's saying that the women who are sex slaves, they don't wear a hijab. In Islam, in Islam, you can have sex slaves. Um, that's what the Prophet Muhammad did, did, and that's why you would be considered as a sex slave. And also in the Quran, it says that you should be covered so that men don't abuse you. So in, in Europe, in Europe, you wouldn't have this problem. You know, people go out there without head covering. But in some Muslim countries, you know, it's your fault if you don't wear a hijab or you don't cover and men would abuse you. That's why in Afghanistan, in an extreme Islamic society, That's women not only have to wear... it's extreme. It's not the representation of all Islam. Would, my, would my, Islam, my Muslim brothers judge me because I'm not wearing the hijab? Would no, judge Muhammad me? would judge as a sex no, slave. No, no one judges no one. Yes, because it says, it says, um, it, it says that you know, it's, it's a hadith once again. It's a hadith, yes. This is the, the verse that I'm talking to. Mm -hmm. Tell your wives and your daughters and the women of the believers to draw their khimar all over their bodies um, to cover their head. That would be better, that they should be known as free, respectable women so as to not be annoyed. Uh, or abused, or molested. No, so, so the context, the 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 context of this, added. the context it's not, of it's this, it's, it's in brackets. It's in, yeah, it's in, it's, it's in brackets. It's not in Arabic. No, sure, but it's been added. It's exactly. You're right. You're right. I agree. I agree. I agree. Okay, okay, that's been added. But, I agree. Okay. but we, so use, we use our hadith to bring in the yeah, historical yeah, context because you are saying mm -hmm. that the women. Okay, so then where does the hadith say what you said? Just a second. You're just mouthing off. Let me speak to her. Let me speak. You're not bringing Can I speak to her? Okay, she's brought up a verse where a woman goes out to defecate. And no, I didn't bring that one it. yet. You didn't bring it yet. But, I, I, but I, in, here, <laughs> in here, the point, sir, is that you're saying that, okay, that there wouldn't be a distinction between female slaves and normal women. But in here, it's giving you the distinction that if you are a female slave, you're not going to wear the hijab. It tells you in here, and if she will be a female slave... And who, that's why the verse was revealed to say... Let all the women wear it. But, so, but at the same time, that will contradict because the Quran says that you can have female sex slaves. Yeah, yeah. So the Quran, no it does say that. It says the context back at the time. Right, many, so we can show you. So, allow me to, uh, so I'm going to show you the verse right now. It's, and all women are forbidden to you except those captives whom your right hands possess. So what is a captive? It's a, it's a slave. Okay. So you can uh, forbidden not to women that are married except to your right hand. Listen, do you know? Do you know why that was sent down? Can I? No, no. I'm, I'm asking you a question. Did you know why that was sent down? Okay, first of all. Okay. Do you know what that was sent? Well, do you know what that was sent down? Please. You, you just why are you no, running, Muhammad? No, 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 one minute, one minute. Why are you running, Muhammad? I've had a nice conversation with her. That, that's fine. And I'm having a conversation with you. Okay. I'm, I'm asking you a question. I'm asking you a question. The reason why is because you want to run what the Quran says. Okay. Me you want to run from what the Quran and this says. Nice lady, we were having a conversation about the Fine, Bible she can be as nice as she wants to. Right, so but I, your Quran would, hadith showed that your prophet had sex slaves. He I raped would, women. I would like to finish. He raped women, I could show you. I your prophet's men raped you. women. I'm, li I'm literally going to show you right now. I'm literally going to show you. I'm going to show you. So this is Sunan Abi Dawood, 2155. So this is Sunan Abi Dawood, 2155. Abu Sa'id al Kurji said, the Apostle of Allah sent a military expedition to Artars on the occasion of the Battle of Hunayn. They met their enemy and fought with them. They defeated them and took them captives. What's a captive? Um, let, let, me, let me continue, let me continue. Some of their companions were reluctant to have sexual relations with the female captives because of their pagan husbands. What were they? 
They're reluctant to have sex with the captives because of their pagan husbands. So what did Allah do? So Allah, the exalted, sent down. This is this is Sunnah.com. Abi Dawood two one five five. So the Sunnah Abi Dawood two one five five. You can look it up yourself. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna I'm gonna land my plane. So because this guy said that there's no sex slaves in Islam, it's clear that you're 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 Muhammad prostituted women. We're going to show you from this, right? All women, all married women are forbidden unto you, save those captives who your right hand possesses. So the reason why Allah sent down a verse is so your, your prophet could rape women. I'm not here to talk about Are you okay with raping women? I'm here to talk about the hijab with her. Well, uh, you just said that the, pro the prophet did not teach. That's what you said. It's on camera. You're a fool. It's on camera. You just said your prophet didn't take sex saves. That's what the Quran is saying. I'm a paper. You're, you're, you're literally a liar. You're literally a liar. I never talk about slaves. Yeah. No, but you, you're saying that Okay, my friend, it's already on here. Yeah, so is yours. So is yours, my friend. You look like a Suntaran. <laughs> you're a joke. The fact is, the Quran says you can take slick slaves. That's what it says here in Surah 4, verse 24. I've got a Quran in my hand. Why is it you people lie to each other? Okay? I can show you passage over the passage. I can also show you passage where the Quran says that women are the devil. I can show you that as well. The Hadith says that as well. Are you going to deny the Hadith? Do you deny the Hadith? Do you know the Hadith? Do you know the Hadith? Hold on, let us speak. Okay. Let us speak one minute. Can I carry on with her one minute? Can she speak in the meantime? I don't have anything to say now. You don't have anything to say. They don't have anything to say. They keep running for their lives. Um, yeah, where are you coming from? Like, is it a Hadith? The actual Quran? Like, I'm talking about a Hadith right now and the Quran itself. So. I, I, I mean, I don't have much knowledge to argue against this. But no one in Islam supports raping women. No one is Islam. In but Muhammad did. I'm not. I literally just showed it. I literally just showed it. You, 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 you don't know your own sources? It's ridiculous. Who is your mom? <laughs> this is ridiculous. Right, I'm going to, because um, obviously it's contention, I want to invite you to read the gospel. And I, you, are you Arabic? Yeah. It's Arabic English. I invite you to read it. Your, um, your Quran. Do you have any knowledge on, on, on these subjects? No. Do you, do you have knowledge on this one? No, they don't. They don't, they don't. They don't have knowledge. You don't have knowledge. You don't have knowledge. Go to somebody who knows, man. Don't go to They're allowing him to run. Tell us. I wanted to speak to you about hijab specifically. They don't have knowledge, they don't have knowledge. Yeah. Can we continue that conversation? Do you have knowledge? Do you have knowledge? Okay. Do you have knowledge at all? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No? Does he have yeah, knowledge? He's also never got knowledge. Does he have knowledge? I'll have a discussion with him, I don't mind. The, the thing is, it's I, I well, it's it's I'm it's reading the Quran. Why do you want me to read Bible? <laughs> Why do you, he's, uh, this guy's a cop, he's asking me to read Bible. Man. What's wrong with you? Why are you asking me to read Bible? I'm reading the Quran right now. I'm reading the Quran. Do you believe your good deeds save you? Can I give him the gospel before, because she's left now, before they go? What, what do you mean by that? Do you believe your good deeds save you, sir? That when you do something good, like praying to the Kaaba, doing praying to the Kaaba, to Zakat, um, you know, you bow down to the Kaaba, whatever this five plus, do you think that saved you? Okay, so we believe that your deeds cannot save you because we are sinners and you need the Holy Spirit, you must be born again to be saved. Um, you need, and Jesus Christ can give you the Holy Spirit, um, and He will make you into a new creation because we are born cursed. Okay. So I respect your beliefs.